Today I have a Etsy sticker shop haul. These stickers are from Michelle and Patch. You might have seen on Instagram that I'm organising the goodie bags for the big meet which is happening in October. Um, and that's part of the UK Planner Addicts Facebook group. I've had stickers from Michelle and Patch in the past and I love them so I thought I'd get in touch about the goodie bags and see if she wanted to be a part of it and she said yes so she has put some stickers in for the goodie bags so if you are coming to the big meet in October then there will be some stickers by Michelle and Patch in there but when she sent me all of the stickers for the goodie bags she also sent me this little bundle of stickers for me um, with a lovely little note on the back. So I thought the best way to show you guys what she sent me was a video because she did send me quite a few sheets. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I do know that she is closing her shop for a year, I think at the end of August. So if you are interested in getting some of these stickers, then I'd do it pretty soon because you won't be able to get them if not. She does have an update on her Facebook page as to why she's closing her shop for that long. So if you're interested in knowing, then you can go and look there. Her shop and her designs have to be one of my favourite designs ever. She's just so talented. Okay, so so they're really tiny sheets, so I've zoomed you in quite a lot. Um, but the first sheet is this one, which is mermaid themed. I'm not going to talk about every single sheet because there's a lot here. Some of these I've had before and some of them I've never had before. But the ones I've had before are ones which I've used so much in all my journaling. There's then this one, which is stationary themed, and this has to be one of my favourites. There's a princess sheet, there's some shopping bags. These sort of stickers are probably more for the planners out there who use them in their planners every day. I'll still end up using these in my journals, of course, but obviously these these ones are more decorative whereas these are more practical so she does have a mixture on her shop but I use both for my journals. We then have some bunting and I've had these ones before, these are the autumn ones. There's then a sheet of TVs, some typewriters which I've not had these before and these are really really nice. There's then some cleaning stickers so you've got bin bags, a hoover, some spray, bubbles and some washing machines. These I haven't had before, these are checklist banners so at the bottom they do have the like ribbon ends so they have like a triangle cut out of them so you get three with five dots and then two with two dots um, and then obviously you get four different colors we then have some bank holiday flags which are in the same color scheme as these and again in the same color scheme we have some to-do lists there's then some countdown stickers so these ones are shells and they kind of go with the mermaid sheet so you could easily decorate a month or something with mermaids and then use these countdown stickers countdown stickers can also be used as date stickers so if you're documenting a month in a journal or something then you can use some countdown stickers to mark the date on a page. There's then some half boxes which are in the same colour scheme as these other stickers and these ones look like they have squared off corners but they actually have rounded corners. There's some more countdown stickers which are on some leaves so these ones would be good to use in autumn time. There's another sheet of countdown stickers which are on top of oranges. There's some old fashioned telephones. There's these ones which say nap time. There's some printer stickers that say print on the paper. I had a couple of samples of these when I got my last stickers um, and I really really like them. I think I hoarded them. They're the kind of snapboard things. I think it's a snapboard. I don't know what they're actually called but they're for when people make movies and stuff. This sheet has credit cards on which I don't actually use credit cards. I'm pretty against credit cards but I will probably end up using these just pretending that they say debit card. It's kind of just a representation of what I've done in the day so this would represent spending. There's then some really pretty watercoloured flowers. I love the colours that have been used in these. I think that one's probably my favourite, the pinky one. There's then a teeny tiny sheet of I think they're iPads or something or some tablet or phone or something like that. Next there is some tea bags. I don't drink tea myself so these I'm more likely to use on Happy Mail and stuff like that. We then have some bicycles. There's then a sampler sheet I assume. It's got the bunting, there's some juice boxes, a tree. There's two little girls which one of these is her logo. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's the blonde haired one is her logo or she might use both I'm not sure. These ones I've definitely had before and I've used these so much in my journals. There's then some cancelled and rescheduled stickers which are in the same colour scheme as all the other planning stickers. And again there's some flag stickers which say day off. These ones say happy birthday and then there's some space underneath to write a name. These ones I've had before as well, these are planners and again like the envelopes I've used these ones so 
so much. These ones, again, I've had before and it's the same story, really. I've used these ones I've used just so, so much. These ones are obviously laptops or computers. These have to be one of my all-time favourites. They are just so perfect and the colour of them is so bright. They're just completely spot on. They are the post boxes that we get here in the UK. There's then some little bags. So these are obviously bags of money. And then last of all, there's another sheet of the laptops. So those were all the stickers I received from Michelle and Patch. Like I said at the start, she is going to be closing her shop for a while. So if you are interested in getting any of these stickers, then I would do it ASAP. She didn't ask me to do a video or anything on these. I was just amazed by how many she'd sent me. And these are definitely some of my favourite stickers. But yeah, let me know below if you have any questions and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.